Je suis Je suis 
question ñu leen di gëna leen sant loolu mo continuer ben ñu mëna am ay yeneen chapters ci Indonesia ci Sofa Belka am yeneen chapters ci Europe ba tay ñu am jotta bu mel ni so lu waral loon nak moy dégo ben baat unity mom lo lo mo waral lo unity bob nak lo de ko faru wax saxal ñu mek sion ne ken dugu suñu didante amna sama ben pa mu ne ma nafira euh bi tay te du ligue te te du ligue ligue doone mu ne ligue sawar so ku amna dafa bëgga yaha diga de nit def ci sawar diko def every day du de lu gana way nak ñun na den wara fatta suñu non ci do xamne ñu ko suñu non yi o at least ñu xamne ñu ñoo ñoo ñay xëccu ñu fatta suñu non pa ci li ñoo wax di jema ici feu le spirit fi pati war nañ ko nangu ci halaté amar sané du ko dal sidi sané ay xalé yu daw ki yo ko gambé high school ki yo baram bi dama ko pakat fay ko mu dem riko baw ci lolu america ma andan mom america fay ko fof la dé no sacrifices yu ñu nak lo nay war am a savoir focus ñu xamné so gisé ñu di bi mëna ñew ba fi tay ñew ñu say sacrifice ci lolo ko war ñu melni sa jokku ñaan saane ñu melni ñom ku nda kamara leen sacrifice abou karam bak sama leen sacrifice lolo ta ñu di bi mëna ñew ni ñom du telo so gisé ñu di bi ñew bi leen sacrifice lolo ko war ñom yi dama woon na ko ñom jaara jo ya sale makalo all this before ñom fetifikas ñom fami pitas twice di dem kasso ñaar ñom di dem kasso pour la suma constitutional right la bu azar ñom makasso so ñoo ñu sen sacrifice ci yoy lay war am asa asa wa red asa wa boy bo xamne moñ wara gay nay faté nit yi nga xamné waju sew ñoo bu gam ici ci bir faté bi lay len faté lu té ñun bu nga xamné ñu ñoo naka ñu ñoo naka doon faté ñom ñoo war am bu da fayda gis né joy discussion ci ñu lan mo wara naka ci ité o ci djubul way moy né 2026 ñu mek sho né fami pita ñu tamu dem kasso way amatu ci rew amatu ci gambé and the only way that can happen is you must make sure ne ñu am a change of government with Adam Abaro out of that office otherwise you could not make it but it, every sunday every sunday the last the last sunday of every month so ma keur lañ dé def exercice comité médi ñu ñoo Adam Abaro ñu ñepp dañu jong kon bobu ñu ko fa même place ñu ñuy lax ñu añ ko té li fa dé wax abar yaaya jami lool moy xew tay ci agam ci di dahan nit liggey ne because support support npp di bagne am jox nit yi pamit ne because support npp in fact li waxon ne moy public order act bi do do amen section 5 and section 6 lolou ko wara ni fi dafa wala gen ci dis pa ci do ay completely wa arma baro nak dafa ñew nak degal ko degal na dem ba moy wax ne ñe wax ne triya amen no no tata lim def triya jot ya moy sa moy gëna bon moy gën moy opa limu limo def ñew ñu moy opa lim def triya jot ya wa adama baro yow war nga am xalaat war nga am leneen lo yow war nga xalaat dan di traité di sizi sa fi ak kontri ne so len defé li li la def ya wax lo len ne a ku def li de andi ta ku wa way nak di di toto ni ti di len def lo xamne andi ta ko ah do de nga di gambia ci lolu et c'est really a big disappointment li mo war yen gambia ci war yena ci arma baro after all to fake constitution bi amo two time limit way de eco was protocol on democracy and good governance amna et tout am limite té té sa frère da 
son de arme baro son obligation sa international law pare wulo pare wulo amen topal wulo da yow sa sa bane rek nga wara le fin pour ne li nak ci sen loi dia fo dia fo war yu ko dia dia fo war ko le fin te de may war luma bu ga luma bu ga adama baro xam moy ne ci suñ ci suñ le fin bi ci amen ci suñ euh ci suñ loi yi ya fi ya fi dara sa ci yo xamne nak ko fa waye nak kessi yam te ba touré bi woné na né consommer international law na apply fo xamne suñ gambian law ci artifice té li international law la lu tax arma baro de wax né two times or third time ko ko bal fi dina dila ak yow i think you should have a think fok na do xamne da fay ici problème ci sa problème war lo ko war lo ko kore war lo ko kliba da nga wax da nga o nit yoy waxanyo ne len li moy situation waye nak di tifal nit yi ah go mané gambian fi légui euh ragal na ñene ci at least xamna ne xamna ne amal sa ne rakal ragal na ko kaso parce que xam na ko xamna ni ko kaso lim ne so ragal na ragal ko usel na bara ni kaso ak ñene nak ñene ñene ragal ni kaso waye nak euh lo xamne dina wara tax be ñoo ñu dem kasso arma baro da fa amal nak soli lo amul te du won moy ne da fa war ci gambian people with decency mu tirte ak le respect ne nekulo bu president ranga ne and people have the right to say li lay buga you cannot you can li lay buga you cannot prevent people from saying that and in any democratic country people have the right to peacefully demonstrate and express either their disagreement with or their support for any particular so you know we are not how to dine waje nga li tiya jot tiya jot na lima len def so yen ni ngi ba ba this no third times na len def lo xamne mo upa do amen that is a threat if i say threat to kill people yeah it's a threat to kill people to shoot at people and kill them that that should not be the posture that should not be the position taken by, uh, by 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 the by, by the country's leaders wa yeen mi nga xamne da ci diaspora bi will all you yep you know what get together you demand for the franchise you extend to gambia in the diaspora su boba yeen mi nga xamne da ngi di gën mu na sani carte parce que mon ma gis ben reason little amount of living that you gonna support the economy of the gambia about 23% of gdp mu ngi joge from the diaspora how you can be prevented from really electing your own leaders president and maybe last one assembly members so leave we should not leave this one to the political parties but you need you to wara boka you just need the that the diaspora franchise is the that the, the franchise extended to that ñe ñep dey wara gis ne kel bi nga xamne ñom la ñom bi bi daabo yobuto di supreme court about the diaspora voting ñe gis ne government bi implement na non di ko wara baye di politicians only it is the duty and responsibility of every government today ñe nga xamne ñu ngi npp ay na lead lead na wa he na tomorrow situation na change bo xamne guy npp ñoy gëna bëgga pour accept pour libérer bien ma franchise bi extend to the to the government c'est ça ñu ngi leen di gërem façon ñu tay bi pour am ko ya fena euh ñu ngi ñaan yalla nak li bu nak ci last time pour ñu meet ci ñu ngi ñaan yalla ne benen ñoon buy meeté ñu nga fekk avec suñu mbété su fekké yalla meen ñu yëk di ci opa yalla meen nak da yalla na ñu ko meen ngeen ñaan yalla ay tabne unity bi nga xamne mo nak ci mbir jalla continuer lo te le advice ne nay lem moy to ñi nga xamne dañu ici say ici among sa wasa di jema create this unity among sa wasa nay lem moy ñu amul ben interest pour udp mëna jëm ci kanam bi da len wax ben ne 
Mr. Dubu Drami, the regional chairman for NPP for in URR. Odium Mumbia, Mune, UDP, Solemu Gagani Eli, Elephant, Nangan Gene, Mr. Dabo, Gen 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 Gitan Kennedy. Why are you humble? Okay, Mr. Dabo. Sutahawe, you are the Democratic the party born from me, Bugana, Jamatirovi, the Nakalo from Iowa, you are from there. If I want it in a United Born Democratic Party, a Bugutarachi Gandhi, and now Jama of Jama, the non letter, so he's coming here. So he messages, then the focus on our policies. So he messages, the focus on unity. So he messages, the focus on the need for party members to remain steadfast and to remain loyal supporters of the party. UD uh, has never had a wonderful weekend like this. It has never happened in the life of the United Democratic Party. Moi Mel Adam Kaboko is a successful dealer. Baby, congratulations. The main dealer is well deserved. A market for culturality. Ngai ki barol moile, ngai la barol jale, jan nimbi, oto nimbe satke dealer. Kese de aroke, kaboko ya katako ke patio niye. Mo ukuti mela kampi ya deserve. So mbapole ko, congratulations. Mbapole ko, yin satke to main dealer la, buso lomo. Nibera Suokan, the Babondikan, the Kapuso Tai Babu Sala, put us for a couple, the Sankara Panamo, Alia Pusoleti, go and make a can, Alia Kapu. Moderator, I announce go Spain, a fairness or do, surprise, that I'm a thing, go by Nadlanya. By Cabrayoko, Ukaiko, Korotoko, Ukaiko, one lie. It is definitely no la cardio come for the canola. Spend in a month to the cooler. You go to Canada and the Gamble, the Gamble, and the Gamble. So you are sending the lady and somebody in the Amantere. Send them the lab cajela, fire men in Najando, fire and fit for a month fit. Jumalu, Nana Kamaraba Jumi, Nimitala Jumoto, Alia Jumi, Venina de Covendu. So they take the Amantere. You can't tell me that. Then the feeling is that. You must have a country chapters no No one can meet. But country chapters no one can meet. You can't 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 meet. The diaspora, UDP diaspora, to have all the diaspora convention. And after that, in our meeting, so to there's always a first, and you know, first thing, and the other one is the first. There's always a first. Diaspora, the first. Move France, B. Better than Rosa, Tala is Musashi. Musashi is the first chairman of the UDP France chapter. I do not care. Adala Sanji says, "Wale lota ka UDP baloni France ata ko." Wawa to ni sula te fen fen na outside of Gambia, ngamune mga ngawo ko alina parinko li jube. Ibenyame, ya bela kenya, ya bela kenya, kodo di mola, ya public address system di mola, yang hanya ni, 
የአይቲን ሞላካ ቦኮ የስ ዩዲፒ ዩሮፕ ኮንትል ባቆሉ ነበር ዳንከ ክሉባል ማኤሰሲስ ሊሎቶ ዩዲፒ ዶኒ ፍራንስኮ ሊሲዲያ ሳኛ ኢጣሊያን ዲያጂ ቦታ ፍራንስ ዳዳ ኒዮክ አላይ ኦማትራ ወለ ማሙል ጃይተ ላሰን ጀባ ላሰን ጀባ ማምባ ማምባ ጀባ ኒላ ዩዲፒ ኩሩኩሩ ኒውዮርክ ሳተ ኮ ፈያ ሎሚ ዋዶ ሜያሎ ካብ ኮቆል በኮለ ያለ ኢን 1997 6000 ዶላርስ ወፈምባለ አሜሪካ ሰው አንፈምባለ ትስክደለ ሊሲ ያሳኛ ኖ ትሪፖ ቶ ዩናይትድ ስቴትስ UDP chapter ye mendo ni je ke Omar Travale dal idunte funte idunte funte dal mesala ti momena de kile ne say ta ba mesala ti momena ye membo ni hadi patio da ko sa ba 6000 dollars ko to bete ti la wala je je UDP the diaspora the origin is new york and france and while new york new york for con new york new york new york branding after the 2001 after, after 1997 national assembly elections na funding call to do wol ko na se ku ba ba wol ko no fa se ku ya ga wol ko no wa sa ja ga go le to do ko e ko aleta america aleta ni ni ndro la ina democratic party aleta je to na ka fomme be lo ni je to aliye gambandi aliye so tembor wow at the pension al munna executive committee members so nan ta ta je to al bekala ni wodi ambassadors no ye ki je to alhamdulillah wa sajani halibi wa ben fe to man wala ya le maya de man tran fe par abeti ata bo man ko kuta de fe de ko poti ko to eni moye ko tuma se ale ta fa nya to ite ta na ko ma bari men memu to nya de wala ga ko udp le executif members fe wo fe ni 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 mol benta ke ite sonne nya ko djubel kanen do ko dal ko dal ya ni wo do mo tan ko do boto boy said kan do eta ram yar ko mai muna sisi after the 2001 national assembly elections lo mo na ta na ki kata amer tar fo wat ko na ma power fa to ne dia la authority dia la ka fo ko asi fund raising ke fay na ti democratic party ata da je to well five founders five founders bari ay moto ko a ka fo ko ay talo bari na do ka fo ko fo ni ko do je to sign un contrat a fo le a fo je won le ko to ni so whatever whatever is is nge te le nge fa fo to ni te le nga visa ni ni o ita ni bula menda ni tata ni moda ke lendere o manke kuti ni ala ka ko nyanda ki to zala ka ko dela nyanda ni dela nyanda ni bari ka men fo wono ka ko udp diaspora nanna funding ko do mo le ko di janda ko eta new york eta america eta patio bambandi jeto eta fund raising ke patio jeto do li aka nyama do li ma ka nyama bari han bi United Democratic Party la like UDP diaspora and it expanded never did we think of go Wisconsin is a chapter of the union got land in Maryland and was New York Atlanta because Gambian Gambian population and the concentration in all areas Seattle was far away for some of us come go you you fly from Banjul get to New York number of hours and then have to fly from Washington to Seattle number of hours for jump down the airport but when the moon look located from new york to seattle boy sedical ibrahim adiba and others when they are located to seattle udp true afrika jet afrika jet a falinta falinya me yalo kabo ko akun ko ni nyaal ba b udp seattle chapter is probably one of the most vibrant chapters of the united democratic party and the entire membership of the udp diaspora 
the flag profits. In Kenyan for all the time, uh, for years, Indian or Indian, full level. Nadra mas mafra mas nadra madoro, full level. In general, full level. Whatever type of Indian, we are making. So in the Democratic Party, we Indian led. Allah full is the dark for us. It has always been difficult to move it. Nadra attempted. Today, UDP would have crumbled on its knees because politics. Fem fem buka politiko tamandino naman ka kodo. Politiko politiko kodo le ka tamandino. An kodo yung kabo minto yun. A kabo gambia. But does it compare to men kabo from the diaspora? I say no. Let's reference it. I think we can attest to that. I say no. So diaspora, we are very grateful to you. I will make it. But. As grateful as that to you people, because of you now one common objective lesson, one common purpose, one common vision, and one common direction. One lesson. United Democratic Party has never been a party where wrangling, petty rivalry, and a man party. We have come this far because na party on the table can If you can imagine somebody like like Musa, like Musa is the other one. If you can invite somebody like Alai Job Kandi, Alai Sanzim Nikeda, or Siadan Tarnyami, they can talk to me without looking into my eyes. I'll start off with Nyan Tamman. So what Nyan Tamman Nikeda? Nyan Tamman no Bunya. And we should be accommodating about our views, our, our, our different views. But those different views must not let us put the party in this unity. Because, after all, After all, unity will not up to here. After all, unity will not be able to do it. Torture will not be able to do it. Intimidation will not be able to do it. Even Hany Amir said in place that they remain united against a common enemy and also for a common, ob for, for a common objective. In fact, our unity was not more against an enemy. In fact, we never had enemies. We had rivals. And our unity has never been against rival. Our unity has always been the objective, the values of the party, when they are united together. And that values, you know, that is what we must continue to cherish. And that those values, neither could continue to a push. If you remember, somebody like Musa Sis in France, Amankara, Amanta School, I do work in a retired, and he devoted his whole time. You remember somebody like Janke uh, Kurubali? I had a phone back in our Democratic Party. Why? 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 I finished the Banco Camp. I'm a left man. I was sent down in Kanganko. Member Banco Camp, Menso Bolino Jeto, Wolong United Democratic Party. What on the end of the United Democratic Party? A man said, Yeah, Jamia Friday, Kajanke Kurubali Kasaba. I can't wait. I'm a success now. Yeah, yeah, me a carrele. Kama esa kada, kaka kada, kaka sabah funka. I'm a successful now. Aya kada le, kanya muso maji ja kumbani. Kaka sabah funka. I'm a successful. Kapo be itani. Why? Because the banko mi ya kano. Teben kambeng. Wole ya na United Democratic Party na tapo ni. Teben kambeng. Wole ya tina. Folks like. Karamo Fati, Asonka, humiliation. Asonka, Kataka said, Karamo Fati, go bail you, go bail the other. Because Moya Nanakaf has a standing movement in Gambian politics. He has a history, a pedigree in Gambian political. But he, Munayatin, a manta, a kokai kandele. And I Gambia again, through UDP. Tonya, Alain Tekele, leader of the United Democratic Party. But Nimbe Faniaka, Karamo Fati, will never have been part of that. So, for those who need unity, look at it. Now, Kanafo and Dana, Kafka unity is our strength. We must believe Kafka unity is our strength. If we believe Kafka unity is our, is our strength, then we will remain united and we will remain focused. 
we will not allow Never. We have to remember God. Sacrifices that we have made in those days. From the time Patyonin was in his formative stages, 23rd, Joey Tata just reminded us, Kaboko in about uh, 15 days' time, 15, 15 days. 19 days' time, we will be celebrating Patyonin 28th anniversary, the founding of the party, 23rd August 1996. That was a period where Yalon Kavoko, nobody was nobody was certain about the viability of the party because of the situation that prevailed in our country. People thought that, that the party was just being registered for the formality of having registered and then going through the motions of elections without really believing in our ideas. Not really, the great sacrifices done by the people. Was for the was for most of our members was for the people for the for the matter of the country. See, I have some photographs of Amadou Sade. When I look at them, near Yoleka, September 1996, when he was founded by Jamila terror groups, the uh, OIC, uh, how they take him to Bambadinka, severely tortured them, denied them their rights to vote. I, when I look at those photographs and see the sacrifices that these people have made, should there, there be anyone in the Gambia, I wouldn't say in the in, in UDP, should there be anyone in the Gambia to doubt Kavoko United Democratic Party stands for principle? Should there be anyone in the Gambia to doubt Kavoko? We have people in the United Democratic who want to take Gambia to a position other than in what it is today. He sacrificed. He endured torture. Bailing out on television in September, that was again in September 2013, when he was paraded before the television. I was in New York, I was, I was then in Maryland. When I saw my brother on the television screen, I break down, I cried. Because I thought that you know, he was going to that country. He was roguish in what he was talking. And all that as a result of the torture made it out of him. Should we now really discard those sacrifices? No. no. And then be guided by our petty rivalries. We shouldn't allow that. In fact, there are no rivalries in the, um, I, think, I don't think there are any rivalries amongst us. What I have said yesterday, that our enemies, our opponents, they really peddle these things and make us believe there is that group, there is that group, and there is that camp, when there are no camps in the United Democratic Party. There is only one the United Democratic Party, and that United Democratic Party is what I lead. Thank you. And that United Democratic Party is what that United Democratic Party is what will be led by somebody else in 2030, other than other than Muslims. maintain our unity. We'll continue to maintain. The part drop at all to the attainment of the mission of the party. But therefore, I think there's responsibility associated. In fact, some time ago, uh, before uh, this was about 20, 2018, 2019, in court, diaspora has done a lot to salvage the Gambia from the dictatorship. And we expect the diaspora to continue to really stand by the Gambia. But, the cracks in the body politics of the Gambia is being caused by the diaspora. Oh, it does make the diaspora Gambia diaspora call it because the great majority of the Gambian people, whether you belong to the United Democratic Party or you belong to another party, 
So I ask you all, I tell me in the diaspora, Kalkal, Kalamol, Alke influence. Look at it. I don't have to look for Kalto. I don't have to look for Kalto. But I don't have to look for Kalto. But I don't have to look for Kalto. That's an important part. Because the Manya Dolke, Melke Jawiata, Yaka Melna, 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 il a quoi de bon à nous les mêmes mais voilà un cadre pour la importance pour Hanibi registration binaire supplementary registration ni meyano yet agamia registered yet that is to say not a call the constitution draft constitution is not adopted and presented to a referendum before the end of this year no man can Then I urge all of you, men say no, get her back home, get her registered yet. But an important document as the Constitution, it will introduce her, you know, just about uh, uh, halfway in, 20, in 2025 when you have election in 2026. At the Kenona. What do you think to go back home to register if 
the constitution is not adopted. And I believe that the constitution will be adopted. But not adopted for now. Melanie Kapoda already registered in the Ghana. Please make it your duty, make it your responsibility to go to Gambia and cast your vote in the Gambia. So that you will not be there only to cast your vote, but you also be there to do service for the, for the party. You will serve as our pooling agent. You will serve as our counting agent. You will also take part in the campaign. So to call him Baldan Lawana. Many of us have said that Mr. can also I mean, cast their votes here. But as important as it is, Puru diaspora voting circle for our people to be enjoyed the franchise, as important as that is, recruitment of our diaspora, Gambian diaspora, into the membership of the UDP, I think is very crucial. Because if you have the franchises extended to the Gambian diaspora, but you have not been able to mobilize the people to vote for you, then an extension to the, uh, to the diaspora is of no value to the United Democratic Party. So I ask all of you, I tell me very gentle, and the chairperson of the outreach uh, um, committee, uh, Ambassador, former Ambassador General uh, Park, called Benatra to recruit as many Gambians into the fold of the United Democratic Party who are resident in the diaspora. I know there are several thousands of Gambians, Melam Kabuka, the resident in the, United Demo in, the, uh, in the diaspora, who are not members of the United Democratic Party. And you need to get them to be members of the United Democratic Party. I do not say that they belong to other parties, but I say that they belong to belong to the United Democratic Party. If, and this is the reality, if you look in this hall, how many people do you see here who say me? I think this is the reality. We have to go out. The diversity that Joey talked about, we have to really go out, get them, as it's been done back home. The outreach program that we have had in the new meetings, very successful and brought in a huge number of people from other ethnic groups into the United Democratic Party. That is what we must do, also in the United It is not sufficient for us to pride ourselves to say that, look, the hall is full. And then see that the hall is full with only one, one group of people. That is not reflecting diversity. That, for me, I mean, so something which I hate very much. Because uh, in all my life, in all of my life, I have been thinking Gambian, I have always accepted Gambian, and I have always promoted things that are Gambian. So let us go out. Ajajanaba, you and your outreach team, you must make sure that you recruit as many other members of other ethnic groups into the, into the party. I was glad yesterday when uh, Makanso uh, alluded to what he has been doing which has been very productive, but his target has been those who are back home in the Gambia. And I'm saying that the target should not only be both back home in the Gambia, but Anyanta Kalafani Mela Kafka being the death for a janitor. But I'll be able to do this. So that new vote means that the franchise is extended to the Gambia. When the vote for the UDP are counted, we are 96% ahead of everybody. <laughs> So, outreach and And I want to encourage again, young CMF, this must be a continuous activity. The fundraising must be continuous. Mm -hmm. And that is why we have brought along the Little Yellow Book. And the Little Yellow Book is a small, it's a, it says a Little Yellow Book uh, of a few pages, but it's a few pages of our thoughts. And every chapter of it, really, you can develop it, you can develop it into a book. Patriotism, you can expand on it and, become, and, 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 and you can present it as a book. But it just has synopsis of what we expect. What we expect of our youth, what we expect of our women, in fact, of what we expect of Gambians in general. 
So this is a little yellow book. Butler Albul Jando, Chairman, Diaspora, you and your group are leaving this to you to market it so that uh, our fundraising efforts, uh, we will continue with our fundraising efforts. And uh, by 2026, I think we should be sufficiently resourced. Kajako, election, conduct in a, uh, with ease, and then <coughs> we, get, we, we, we conduct with ease and uh, get our victory. Now, getting the victory is one thing, but protecting the integrity of the voters is another thing. And that is why, Namir Abdul, a 10 million in the diaspora, you still have a little. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to say No. It should be more than that. And uh, that was just, just to look up on your mind, I mean, the, the ideas that come from you people to us, you know, will be of great value to us in every aspect of our political activity. So we are not, I mean, shielding ourselves from receiving ideas from anybody. And I want to say, I want also everybody that they have always believed that let me have your views. They might be different from mine. And I try to convey to Kabo Kolo the views you hold are wrong. And uh, try to be sure. Because in other words, 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 I think we sell it through the sell it through left left hand left hand you know now the uh, financial contributions and the unity apart left hand all of us may have come to be UDP left hand and you believe in a call. Namol mel tombo, get in yaku, get kulia yaforama. And I'm saying this particularly with reference to our elected leaders. You cannot say Hosanna, 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 and then turn around and say crucify them, crucify them. And nothing is what is happening. You cannot. We applaud the National Assembly members. Kako, you have done this. We are grateful for this. And then turn around again and make statements that is suggesting that they are not fit to be elected. al Nobula. And it's coming from the that side. al Nobula. They are our elected representatives. You can engage them. Because you have, you, I mean, you, I mean, you have their number. Engage them. Talk to them. But well, you cannot go on the podium, you know, and then castigate them. And then the next day, he turned and said, oh, you are six. That, those are the contradictions. Yeah. You cannot care for the six no day. He put up Jesus Christ, no, but I will have put that, and then the following day, put him on the cross, and then crucify him. You cannot do that. We must, we must, we must, tell me that not elected leaders, no, no. We should be, put friends, we should put rings around them, protective rings, defensive rings, weak party. Major. Major. I don't see it in Doi. When I left the Silas, you know, say anything against them. After all, those are the vehicles, you know. Doi and National Assembly members, they are beneficiaries of them. Jumali Kumangwe. Jumali Kumangwe. NPP. We have an NPP in NRP, when they are in alliance, but Jumali Kumangwe. All of that part is UDP. I agree, we are the conscience of the people. And we must really project that, that we are the conscience of the people. But that does not mean that we should put our elected officials in the position we have said, don't really let them down, not fit for that position. What do you do? Safero Kele, Safero Bediari Mulu, Nkapu Mulu for Manyanama.
Let us be careful about those things. And that is also part of our messaging. It's part of our messaging. And uh, I don't, uh, uh, so, 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 and uh, we can uh, uh, not uh, really exhaust everything. But one thing I want to say is that diaspora, you are an important factor in the life of a party. And you must really do everything. The cohesiveness, member came, and the other Kabuko were tragic. Alkana Kuke, Mayano Kabuko, Abe, Abenda Mamu, Bulan Lanyona. Yeah, no, I was I was a little bit uh, surprised because this this garden is not about I mean uh, uh, flag bearership. It's not about flag bearership. This garden is about what we have done in the past few days, celebrating ourselves, and we want to continue to celebrate ourselves. We want to keep on encouraging ourselves to do what we have done in this past past few past few months. Because this thing didn't start yesterday. We just saw the culmination yesterday. The fruits, the fruits that this struggle, that this I mean, arrangement for, that is what we saw yesterday and we did it. And we want to make sure that nothing happens. May I don't have a Nabemko wherever it might be. From Nabemko, I think it's going to be in Gambia. You know, the Gala in December. Now they have a little bit of Gambia. Yeah, man. But if we continue to be wrangling about nothing at Nepal, I have always said, go be interim leader of the United Democratic Party. And until such time, when you are not and I do not subscribe to this thing, Kafoko, Momanyana, Idamala, I mean, flag bearers. I don't subscribe to this. You can do a better job. No, present the application to the selection committee. But one thing I want to say is that for now, Mansilino, for now, for now, Mamoy, Mamoye, Men, Men, Pareda, Kasimbula, let's go to Simko. Because the United Democratic Party did. The United Democratic Dingo, Nanyo Kulule, in a way, may I not cover for the Kokala, may I not cover for the Kalani Nodoyat that we have done. Starting from Alai Mosad, may I not cover for B, Adilam Samir Kekunda, at least at a lady in the leadership hierarchy, Kada Ajuskana Kanyo, Muskunda, may I not cover for Telsiata, Betty, in the party hierarchy, leadership hierarchy. Be Kadiamu with one voice. To go to the last person, Melan Kawalum nominated members of National Executive Person, but the body are not elected, Be in Kankilim. For Kankilim, member United Democratic Party, member Teben Kambian Sabat Latim, member Unity, ensure in the party, better Kota Walter, and there's no exception of that in the United Democratic Party. So today, with one just one objective, and that objective is so that, that we are going out. In 2026, we are going to defeat Adma Baro. And one thing, NPPA, UDP, UDP defeat the No. MVP alone, honey, even particularly now, about 16 other people. That was one thing, I put a nyao nyao, more 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 than one So, you are the kafun kafun, against only UDP. So, imagine, tomorrow, I'm going to go to the 
Dobal on the Dobara Molonda. What happened in KMC? What happened in Banjul? What happened in West Coast? What happened? Because what to more in the milk of the Yoma, what war they from Mali, it had a Yefansu Molondi, KMC, Yefansu Molondi, Banjul, Yefansu Molondi, Lakotendo, Molanda, they will be defeated mercilessly. Then you know, become an area council. If the election results of 2013, of 2021, were true, then UDP councillors, number of councillors, at the Brickham area council would have been far less than what it is. Yeah. But because we went head on head, one to one, NPP, one to one, APRC, one to one, not aligned, maybe, maybe, maybe. And also, the National Assembly elections, let like, me reflect, is that NPP in Banjul, they lost massless, mass, uh, you know, disgracefully in Banjul. Yes. They lost disgracefully in KMC. They lost disgracefully in West Coast region. Yes. So UDP, NPP, dumb and dumb and dumb. You see, Bute, 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 That is the spirit of the Nyanta Polajang Menna, the spirit of Nye Bute, and the Nye Bute. Bravo, 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 Diabula, in Alfalu, in Mokalan Keribalu, where Diabula will be seen at Soha Kopini, my other man Kabulo Resolu, and Silono Dami, the Diamoke. So, I see him from me. But in Kufla de Jantopi, we came to UDP in 1996. All born at Lombard. Ibrahim Ali Bajet Lombard. UDP Akilulan dalam panang te membiak sam kang amo warandi kake na dulu koto really na pambati na dalam na funding kulo student wing eba collection oke kane yuri pila dengi lolo kake flash guys ni lolo kake preserve for posterity. Nanong, yung dengue fuller na talagyan ko. Ano yung power, 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 power. Huwag ba kailan na freedom songs niyo alati? Na movement doon na songs niyo alati? Huwag ba kailan alati? Binamula naman ni Katanjole at si Yang Fama na prepare speed niya. Okay. Dahil sa nana, binanaanan ba naman ni Katanjole? Mr. Sedekan, Chairman, UDP Diaspora, members of the UDP Diaspora Executive Committee, Alaji Jite, Chairman, UDP Spain Chapter, and members of the Executive Committee of UDP Spain Chapter, and to everyone gathered here in this beautiful city of Mataro, myself and my colleagues. Ajarpia Mudalit Ye Yabo, National President UDP, Honorable Ahmad Sane, National Treasurer UDP, the political leaders of our regions who are also executive members of our party, Ajaratu, Rahim Malik Yo, Sidi Khan, first Vice President of the 
party, first national vice president of the party, also mayoress of the city of Banjul, the capital city of Banjul, Ian Kubagabo, deputy administrator, media and communications of the United Democratic Party, as well as the chairman of the Area Council. We bring you one greetings from the general membership of the United Democratic Party back home. This is the first time our party is convening a government that brings together representatives of all of his life chapters around the world in one location. The previous practice has been each diaspora chapter holding their separate events within their jurisdictions. That we have members traveling far and wide from all corners of the world, investing time and resources is testament to the shared values of the party we all firmly believe in. I have always said, UDP is more than a political party. It is an idea, held in the hearts of its members, whose faith in the principles of the party are only surpassed by the commitment they bring to see through the agenda we offer to the government people. I want to thank the leadership of the UDP diaspora who spent months and many hours of planning to put this excellent event together. I also want to thank profoundly the host committee here in Spain, who have been very gracious, put in long hours, and have been working very hard to ensure everything runs smoothly. There is some committee responsible for the beautiful Ashabi adorning this all. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Pat Sanya, Aminata Bar, and all members of that subcommittee that are profoundly grateful to you. <laughs> I want to thank and pay special tribute to the honored guests of this great and unforgettable event, the mother and father of the night, or the king and the queen of the night. <laughs> all order selected guests of honors, we appreciate you. Your selection and acceptance of this special guest seated at the high table is testament to how much the larger UDP family admires and respects those and the rules you continue to play in the party. We are grateful to you in the knowledge that you represent the best in integrity and commitment our great party is built on. But I want to extend special thanks and appreciation to Mr. Yankuba Drame, husband to Geneva Mars, for his unwavering support. He has always been available to believe on by Geneva whenever the occasion demands it. To you, I say thank you. And to all other husbands who, whose wives have been playing really low in the affairs of this party. One more body here. Yeah. Of course, that's why I said all husbands whose, whose wives have been playing reading rules. That, of course, includes the husband of the first vice president, first, uh, first vice national president of the United Democratic Party, no other person than uh, the chairman of the diaspora, who was up to be also the mayor of Banjul. So, <laughs> but this unique gathering will also offer all attendees an opportunity to meet and interact with other members of the party they never met in person. That alone is gratifying and will build on our already strong bonds and camaraderie, which is very important in any grouping of shared values. We are hearts are united around common values. Strength and success is the most likely outcome. I want to start off tonight's conversation among friends 
including those who couldn't be here in person, but are watching us and joining us in spirit with the very important issues of unity among our ranks in all aspects as we prepare for the 2026 elections, which is fast approaching. I want everyone to be cognizant of the fact that our grown and enduring strength, including 22 years of facing a moderate tyranny to this day, these days has been premised on the unity of purpose all our members and supporters have consistently maintained. Our opponents, who are many and varied, know that truth about us. They cannot and not even try to contest the efficacy of our ideas. They know we have the deepest bench of capable, experienced, honest and hardworking people among our ranks. They know the agenda we propose is both believable and good for our country and its diverse people. They know our people are trustworthy. When they find all these attributes incontestable, they resort to trying to sources of discourse and disharmony amongst the broader electorate as well as among our ranks in a bid to derail, to derail change our country needs and deserves. You can expect their relentless efforts to pitch our members and supporters against each other using overt and subtle means. They will try to exploit our diverse big tank nature, comprising all Gambians to cultivate personal rivalry. Their aim is not to help any faction within the UDP. The intention is to create disunity by using well-meaning members and supporters of the UDP to undo UDP. <laughs> they must fail no matter how hard and how many times they try. And the only way they will fail is for every member and supporter to put unity within the party above everything else at all times and under all circumstances. All of us, from me as party leader, to the newest addition to our ranks, are and must remain subordinate to the overriding interests of our shared values, fundamental to which is the sacrosanct principle of unity. UDP was built on the blood of martyrs, the tears of torture, imprisonment, disappearance, exile, dispossession, oppression, and grief of its members. The party is a trust, and all its members and supporters must see themselves as duty bearers and trustees with a solemn responsibility to those who pay the ultimate price in the fight for a Gambia that is free, democratic, and forward-looking. I advise myself and everyone within our ranks to not play into the hands of those who seek to pitch us against each other within the party as well as within the wider electorate. There are no winners in this unity. The second issue I would like to touch on is how bad governance of the Baro administration has produced unprecedented hardship on the Gambian people. While government flashes around the media fancy economic statistics counting phantom growth, the vast majority of our people are wallowing in grinding poverty, uncontrolled inflation, skyrocketing consumer prices, and no jobs to speak of. People struggle daily to feed their families with little or no income. Even folks with jobs have been far outstripped by inflation and high prices, leaving the majority of people with monthly incomes unable to meet their basic survival expenses, trapping them in effective poverty. The entire budget is weighted down by corruption, waste and bad planning and mismanagement, coupled with misplaced priorities. How else does one explain how a nation of 2.5 million people operating an annual budget of $45 billion can be subjected to penury for the most of its citizens? How people are food insecure, trapped in a healthcare system full of determined and hardworking professionals who are effectively abandoned to the cruel fate of not having adequate supplies, infrastructure, and conducive working conditions to heal the sick? I recently heard, read the heart-wrenching first-hand account of a doctor 
who couldn't help his own father because of the absence of basic supplies at the material time his, his beloved needed it. Health centers have become death centers because of corruption, neglect, and overall governance. Doctors and other healthcare workers, no matter how well trained or well intentioned, cannot heal the sick with their bare hands. They and the patients they want to serve need a government that prioritizes them and their urgent needs. For six years, this uncaring government has abandoned the sick, the hungry, the farmers, and the jobless, and the consequences have been devastating. At the heart of the maladministration of the borough government is the deep-rooted corruption, eating away the body and soul of the country. Corruption is wide, the system-wide, persistent and growing by the day. To make matters worse, impunity among the corrupt is certainly because there is not even the pretense of accountability by the government. Legally binding audit reports are routinely ignored with the president himself publicly dismissing them as mere opinions. The limited public resources have become free for all goodies for crooks and cheaters with access to them. A country where corruption is both endemic and tolerated will only force hardship on the citizens because the consequences of theft of public funds is not limited to short-term effects, but the opportunity cost of what the stolen funds could have done for the greater good is even higher. Mm -hmm. Corruption costs life, undermines democracy, and endangers the country itself. It is also clear President Barrow is not interested in either stopping or fighting corruption. We have seen examples of his government coddling and protecting people proven to have engaged in corruption. Additionally, anti-corruption anti -corruption act assented to by the president on 30th January 2024 is not being implemented because the president has failed to appoint the commissioners so that they can begin their work. The delay in appointing the officers is consistent with the president's overall record on corruption. He doesn't want to address it. We, the citizens, must demand that the selection committee be appointed to select and pay the commissioner and swear them into office. We, the citizens, must also demand that once the commissioners are sworn in, every member of the cabinet that has served from 2027 and from 2027 to date to appear before the commissioner and declare their assets. The previous declaration of assets predating the establishment of the anti-corruption commission are insufficient because it doesn't have any investigative power and prerogative. Both myself and Honorable Ahmad Sani, who served in cabinet, would gladly and eagerly appear before the commission to declare our assets and subject ourselves to investigative procedures of the corruption commission. And I hereby declare that if, if, there, if, anything, if there is anything that uh, comes up and shows that my wife, Ajat Maimuna Du, or my daughter, Fenda Dabo, have not acquired their properties legally, I will force them to surrender because I cannot accept my family getting property to an irregular So we surrender. So I therefore ask President Barrow that himself, all members of his family, to declare all their assets and also to indicate to us the landed properties they've got and how they have acquired them. And if they have acquired them in an improper manner, they should return these properties to government. I today declare that my Nulabu will surrender a lease to the government of the Gambia if it is found that she acquired it improperly. If it is found that I exercise on your influence in making her acquire that property, she will surrender that property to the government of the Gambia. I also declare here that if it is found that my daughter, Fenda has acquired her sleeve improperly, that she is not entitled to her to this property, and that she acquired it due to my influence, I declare that Fenda will surrender that property. And I throw the same challenge to Adam Abaro and his family. I want all governments across the length and breadth of the country to be concerned 
when the existential threat drops post to our country. It is a national emergency. And it will take the combined efforts of the entire society to face this menace. Drug dealers are setting root in the country, and we must be under no decision regarding what that means for our small country, where most of our citizens are young people. We are already losing thousands of our young people, fleeing due to lack of opportunity and economic hardship, and to have them additionally exposed to drugs would be a double tragedy our country can't afford. We must urgently declare a drug emergency, reverse our existing laws to significantly tax stiffen the penalties for traffickers and dealers, strengthen and empower law enforcement to improve their intelligence, pursuit, and uh, during interdiction and interdiction capabilities. We must also tighten banking and immigration controls to ensure we know who is coming in and going out, as well as increase surveillance on financial transactions and asset purchases using illegal fronts. Drug dealers are ruthless. They are persistent and exploit the corrupt nature of people who sell their poison. Unless they are confronted with a strong and determined stand, we would lose our country, our good name, and our precious young people. We must summon a strong national spirit to face this grave threat together because no one is ultimately safe from the consequences of drugs. It is a driver of violent crime, white collar crime, corruption, prostitution, increase in mental health problems, and in many other vices. I call on the government to recognize the issue for a graver danger than it is. I want to conclude by once again thanking all of you present here this evening, or this morning now, and those watching from afar. No political family is as close, as warm, as committed, and as loving as UDP. Seeing you and feeling your presence, whether in person or on the phone, through the other communication platform, fills me with joy and appreciation that you are indeed worthy soldiers anyone would want in the battlefield. Let us all remain united, focused and accommodated. Engage every Gambian you have access to and be the best ambassador for our shared ideas and, uh, and the agenda we propose for the Gambian people. Use all the communication tools available to you from WhatsApp groups, Facebook, TikTok, social network, VOOS, clubs, to respectfully engage people and do your best to convince them. Be polite, be jovial, be truthful, and be considerate of the views of others, even if you don't agree with them. Do not use vituperative language towards anyone. Do not respond to insults, and certainly do not insult anyone for any reason whatsoever, and that includes if they even insult me. Any member, of, any member of our party, or even yourselves, insults serve no purpose. A no decent person likes to hear insults regardless of who started it. A good message communicated clearly with respect has a good chance of resonating with the targeted of the audience. We have an excellent message, and all we need uh, excellent messengers mm -hmm. to deliver them, and that is the duty I am assigning to myself and all our supporters. I want to take this opportunity, uh, this auspicious occasion, uh, for me to invite all members of our diaspora garden to our diaspora garden night dinner and awards night, scheduled to take place back home in the Gambia during the coming December, January holidays. This is a very important event in the calendar of the party and our way of extending our appreciation to an important branch of our party. The diaspora is crucial both to the UDP and the nation at large. Your contributions are a lifeline for our country and the critical role you play in generating gathering, um, gathering resources and voter mobilization during elections is what has helped in sustaining the growth of our party. We, also, we are also proud of the contributions 
you made in your adoptive countries around the world, where you are known for your hard work, on our abiding disposition and civic engagement in communities you live. We pray for your continuous success, wherever you may be. Start making plans for the big homecoming and rendezvous, and we all look forward to the memorable evening among compatriots. With that, I thank you all for your presence and your kind attention. May God bless all of us and bless our beloved Daniel. Before I leave, let me, before, before I let you go, I have been working on a new rendition of our signature, Mama Daddy's song, and here it goes. Spain, you deep in Kondule, I lay in full side. France, you deep in Kondule, I lay in full side. Germany, you deep in Kondule, I lay in full side. Swiss, you deep in Kondule, I lay in full side. Poland, you deep in Kondule, I lay in full side. UK, you deep in Kondule, I lay in full side. Therefore, you deep in Kondule, I lay in full side. Allah, Allah, Allah.